Hello, everybody. Thanksgiving is coming up. And before we pray, I'd like to read you a psalm that reminds me of Thanksgiving. It's Psalm 100. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise you for your love and for all that you do for us. We praise you for sending your son to teach us, to love us, to die for us, so that those who accept the gift of salvation would be saved and become your children. Bless your spirit's presence in our lives that advises and comforts us. Lord God, we love and we praise you. Almighty God, please receive our heartfelt gratitude in this time of giving thanks. We acknowledge you for all gifts and blessings you bestowed upon us food and shelter, health, love we have for one another, our families, our friends. We thank you for our pastor, our church staff, deacons, elders, trustees, volunteers, and all who keeps this church moving forward. We thank you that in these days of sheltering in place, we can connect to our community and our world through the internet to proclaim your word. Lord Jesus, we pray for people in our lives who struggle with health issues, for those who are grieving, for people who need a friend or an encouraging word, and for those without stable housing or employment. We pray for our family and our friends. Keep them all safe, Lord, and please bring them health and comfort. In particular, we ask for good health for Dolores Powell. Holy Spirit, we pray for wisdom. Guide our decisions and help us to desire you above all else. Please make us wise, strong, and courageous for the road ahead. Help us all to discern what is true from what is not true. Please give wisdom and strength for those in the front line fighting the coronavirus. We do thank you for the progress made recently in developing effective vaccines. Help us to be wise enough to go to you first when we face any type of difficulty. Lord God, thank you for the men and women who serve our country in leadership roles. Please give them wisdom about what needs to be done and the ability to work together. Loving God, help us all to draw closer to you. Let your gifts flow freely through us so that you would be pleased by our lives and that those who do not know you would be drawn to you. Let your worldwide church make great progress in proclaiming the good news of the gospel to those who do not know you wherever they live. All this we ask in Jesus Christ's precious name. Amen.